Welcome back to Fountainhead Palace. Today we're properly exploring it. It's a nice, big, beautiful location. It's a really cool place and it's treacherous. Gorgeously treacherous. It's like the kind of place you would see listed on one of those lists that are like, you know, 100 places you should see before you die, but here it's like, you'll die when you get there. <laughs> the 100th place you should see before you die. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this area is populated with enemies you might recognize. Certainly Jacob should. Yoshi, you might not have been there at the time. But you're... Yeah, you remember this guy? Yeah. The Mist Noble? Well, this is where he comes from. He sucks the youth out of you. Oh, God, you get old? <laughs> you get old. <laughs> and you can't really do anything. Oh, wow, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool, but it's a little... <laughs> Good old leap. Oh, see, because I'm enfeebled, I cannot resurrect if he catches me. Ah! What do you do? Just deal with it. Uh oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just because these bones are old, don't mean they can't fight. <laughs> Just because these bones are old doesn't mean I can't fight. <laughs> I can see! <laughs> I can fight! For most of these guys, you can actually stealth them. Like this one. You need to get really close by them. <laughs> I just want to hiding right behind this <laughs> folder. It's fucking chilling out. Who gives a hoot? It's pretty easy to find them because they're all playing flutes. Oh, is that actually like part of the music, but like it goes away when they die? I wasn't paying attention. I think so. Like there is a flute part to the music if they're alive and somewhere in the region, but you can't also just hear the music. Now, don't go in the water. At least not yet. Oh! Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I thought he actually got hit. Oh, he did. You can reflect it. And then he's dead, and then he can go in the water. That is one of the Okami warrior women. This is where they come from. That one shoots lightning. Oh, wonderful. She's pretty much the only one, thankfully. I'm looking for everything. There's some... Yeah, some money over here. Be careful of the Okami. They're hanging out on top of the rooftops. They have pretty good eyesight. But if you jump along the rooftops, you can stealth around them. There's one right there. Oh, that's, that's gettable right there. I like their squid heads. The Okami wear masks. Man. I guess I'll just coat the roof with my blood. I guess more octopus heads. Oh, that one was fishing. <laughs> That's a bow. Oh, I thought it was oh. a pole. Yeah. A I... <laughs> I mean, I would be impressed if he was able to fish with the bow. She, these are the Okami. Yeah. The warrior women. A lot of them are just hanging out in specific locations and doing Tai Chi. This one's practicing football. That was probably insensitive. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I was a half second away from saying, shut up, I hate you, but I just let you have it. <laughs> Thanks, Yoshi. I think... No, nope, there's one more Okami right there. She is not an archer. Oh, no. Yep, yeah, she's an archer. 
She was going to say she's not much of anything. She wasn't a competent one. If they're on the roofs, they're archers. If they're down on the ground, they're swordswomen. Like that one. Well, that makes perfect sense. Let's see if I can get the drop on her. <laughs> Thank God he's wearing sandals. This guy you just gotta run after. You know, if this were like a super complicated stealth game, when you kill him, everyone will be like, where'd the flute go? And then it come after you. If there's one thing I will say about Sekiro, it is not a complicated stealth game. Yeah, it's definitely not. Like, if Sekiro was made by Kojima. The Okami are pretty fun to fight. They do a lot of attacks all at once. Which means you can build up their posture pretty quickly. Yeah, it sounds like a good opportunity to parry. This area is where we also meet the dogs. Don't know if you could hear the quotation marks in my voice. Are they less dog-like than, than the dogs we've met before? Let's just say they look less like dogs than these people. Hmm. Is that them? Don't know who noticed me. <laughs> oh, what dangers. <laughs> I never said they were dangerous. Just that they're gross. You know, you're right. You didn't. He just said there are some dogs in quotes. I expect, like, big gnarly beasts. They're gnarly. <laughs> I, I can't get a good look at them. They're too far away. Hug one. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, I'm hugging it with my eyes. It looks like a dog, but with the head of a lemur that got blown out from the inside. More of the head of a chameleon. Wait, are those... Oh, wait, those are his ears. I thought that was his eyes. I think those were his eyes. Oh, then, yeah, chameleon. A fucked up chameleon, but... You know, if you're describing something as fucked up, you can really put anything after it. Nice thing about killing those dogs, it gets this guy's attention. So it's easier to stealth them. My puppies, oh no. My puppies are my illicit pet. Now, dogs I expect to eat eel liver. <laughs> These dogs, specifically. There we go. That's more space between these two idols than you would think. Yeah, the idols have never been terribly far away in this game. That's a good chunk of stuff you gotta do to get to this one, though. I've been using a lot of spirit emblems. I'm going ahead and buying some here because I don't want to rest and reset everything. This isn't going to surprise you, but we're very close to a mini boss. In fact, it's right on the other side of this wall. Being close to a mini boss in this game is like being close to a patch of grass. It's not <laughs> there. Like, cool, but... Well, you can't hide in those, though. <laughs> you, you know, you're right. Uh, you could probably get up to the awnings this way. I'm not quite nailing it, though. Careful, there is a noble wandering along this hallway. Go ahead and let him pass. If I had my other flute, I could play it with my other pair of hands.
Interestingly, there is an uncorrupted woman here. What the fuck are you doing here? You don't get that life. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> well, you notice because she's an old woman, they don't care about her. Oh, I thought the thing was that she's all she's become old because of the nobles. That's also possible. I thought it was gonna be like Hans Mole Man from The Simpsons, like I'm 31 years old. This area is just full of floats, and it can get, it can make you really paranoid. <laughs> it's kind of spooky because they're all playing like slightly different. A little annoying. A little bit. <laughs> kill the soundtrack. Oh fuck! They're gonna say kill the sound trolls. That's a good name for these guys. You know, I want one of them to, like, accidentally trip or something while you're having that conversation with the old woman again. <laughs> so that way the music just cuts off or says, <laughs> <laughs> Lance on the flute goes down his throat. <laughs> <laughs> so as he's hawking, he just hear, <laughs> Come on, it feels like I could get up to the roof from there, but I can't. Yeah, what the fuck? This is, can Wolf not grab onto the mossy moss? Careful of this, Okami. Ooh, puppet time. Go kill your sisters. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> um, do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you for the demonstration. Now attack. I will do this to my dad. Thank you. It was delayed, but thank you. Oh, you can... There it is. You can see the mini-boss. Ooh, purple fireman. A little hard to make out, but it's actually more familiar than you'd think. I'm done with you. Couldn't you let her die on her own? You know, Jacob, if you said that about any other enemy, the answer would be no. Well, yeah. I'm talking about the one that dies on their own if you leave them alone too long. This area also has some patrolling Okami, so go up into the rafters. Ah, oh, getting fucked by the ground. Uh, as always. Every day with this ground. That second shuriken is never worth it. Just don't do it. You can hear her walking. She might be on the roof, actually. I want my therapist to tell that to me. The second shuriken is never worth it. Don't do it. Okay, I know it's been a while since we've talked, but do you actually have a real therapist? Or... No. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, oh my god, Jacob, can you do, do you want to talk about Oh my god, Jacob, it sounds like your therapist is kind of a moron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got him on the cheap. He only speaks in Sekiro references. Why is he telling you to throw shurikens at people? He's not. Well, actually, he's a, no, he's only telling me to do it once. Sekiro Shuriken's thrown once. <laughs> Wolf, you absolute fuck. What were you even aiming at? Oh, if only this game had a reticle. Well, it shouldn't need one, but... You absolute fuck. 
As I was saying it, I knew I was getting dangerously close to saying something you would. <laughs> and you absolute fuck, I feel like it's right on the tip. <laughs> I'm influencing you as you've influenced me. I've noticed I kind of talk like you a lot sometimes. Like, just my mannerisms. To take that as you will. <laughs> and I will. Great. <laughs> I'm trying to get on the roof because I want to go fight the mini boss. Then I figure, fuck it. Can we get this fucker a guitar or something? <laughs> <laughs> Starts blowing on it. <laughs> Damn it. Makes like a, you know, like like a bottle, like, but on like a <laughs> hole in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> like an empty jug. Yeah. <laughs> We're the jug band that plays guitars, <laughs> lack jugs. <laughs> we suck. <laughs> Do anything, please. Okay, not that anything. Oof. One of the fun things about the Okami, a lot of their attacks have these really long wind-ups, so you can easily get hits on them. This might be a unique one of the nobles. Also, I remembered, oh yeah, Okami, whip out the Sabimaru. This is what it's for. <laughs> but this is one of the few nobles that has a red coat. What's so fancy about his red coat? First of all, he doesn't seem to have a flute. There's also the... He might just not be playing it. Oh yeah, I see his flute. So he just has a red coat? Guess so. Alright. I like to think, due to the, due to how many of them there are, they're playing the flute. Like they don't really realize when another one of them dies because they're also playing the flute <laughs> at the same exact volume. Have you ever seen that post of an orchestra playing the intro music to 2001: A Space Odyssey, but they were told to start at their own pace? What the fuck? <laughs> That's what this is like to me. Yeah, this is honestly really annoying now. Like at first it was cute, but. Well, it wasn't really cute at first. It was only a little annoying. Now I'm kind of sick of it. Oh, God damn it! So Shuriken, that guy, there's another Okami past... Oh, God, Ooh. that's right, they do. Remember, Tomoe was one of the Okami. They do do lightning. Oh, he caught her. I was just more horrified because the water was right there. The attack does look really cool, though. Not that one, the, the lightning one. Now you're not a fan of the janitor mopping three times in a circle attack? I am, just not compared to the lightning. There should be another one past this door. And that's just a noble. Luckily, we're right next to another idol here. Uh, I hear I, I hear them. I'm twitching every time I hear a new one now. There's one more. I think he's the last one. Don't reset. Wait, you already have, haven't you? No, not yet. Oh, wait, is this why you really don't want to reset this area? I mean, of course, not <laughs> partially. Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you go up on the roof from here, we can easily reach the main boss. This place is too fucking pretty. There is a secret to fighting the mini boss I didn't know about until that GDQ run. I don't do it here. <laughs> Suffice to say, but there is an interesting secret with it that I do show off. How did you not see what? She like passed right under her nose. She can't hear very well due to a certain instrument. <laughs> <laughs> Living here is like living with 24-7 full-volume tinnitus. 
<laughs> oh god. A different tone, so you never not notice it. You can hear it stomping around. Wanna make sure it doesn't see me, so I can stealth it. Ah, it saw me. Bowl of the Palace. The Sakura Bowl. Where is it? There's a splash of it. You remember the Flaming Bowl? Ooh! It's a Watusi. This one's even cooler, because the branch that is attached to its head is all ignited with Sakura petals. We're gonna run away. For the moment, so that I can stealth it again. You can run away from some mini-bosses. If you do, it resets their health. Remember this specific noble for later. A part of me was really hoping Wolf was gonna miss and he would just splat right into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's actually try and stealth it. Look at that fat, bony ass. Come on. Yeah. You cannot one-hit kill it. That's a secret. And it has no face. Oh my god, what? Oh, yeah, it's all bone. Otherwise, it's exactly the same as the Flaming Bowl. But that is unique. Pretty much every other boss, if you do manage to stealth it, you take out a note of its health. In this case, you'd only take out half the health. I was very scared of that. I think the secret that I learned in GDQ is if you manage to stealth up behind it and do the firecrackers, it immediately empties its, um, not empties its bowels. That's, that's what it sounded like I was gonna say. It completely empties its <laughs> posture. So it just automatically runs into a wall and takes itself out. Now the boss that emptied its bowels was a few episodes ago. Basically. Here we go. You go straight from firecrackers to this. Sleep. Oh, wait, hang on. Sleep. <laughs> I really need to turn the volume down on that thing. We'll fix it in post. What you guys are missing is that I record in mono. The effect is in stereo. Oh. My brain. Alright, but that pretty much clears out this area. There is a secret that I'm looking for, though. It's not an enemy, thankfully, but it's a little flooded out hole that you can swim down into. Mm -hmm. I think it's inside a building. Oh, and a chest. I missed this. This was behind the Okami that I puppeteered. Oh, I see why you were distracted. For a second, I thought it was your own little suit set and a wood and, and a flute ready for you to go, so that way you could perform it yourself. Comes with a little music book, like at the dollar store. That, that, ah, I have some trouble getting out. This is a good place to grab several treasure carp scales and a special secret item. Not the lamp. <laughs> Water of the Palace. You remember the priest in Mibu Village, Jacob? The one who's drinking constantly? Yeah. We give this to him, and something fun happens. Mm. So let's give it to him and have something fun happen. Let's see it. I think this is also a chance for me to get the prayer bead that I forgot about. He's, he's not like in the pot. Oh. 
Wolf snickering the whole time. <laughs> you know, at least he's happy. Yeah. This won't end well for him. To the surprise of nobody, but... At least we get a new type of sake for it. We might have gotten a bottle of this before. But it's one of the less common ones. Oh my god. Oh, he's going for it. Still going. <laughs> uh, goodbye. He's, he's just whipping his tongue around in the bottle. All right, for anything to happen, you need to reload the area, which you can just do by quitting and reloading. <gasps> but he turns into one of the nobles, so he's going to die. Why would you do that? Progress. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's so mean. Still going. If you took the game aspect out of this and you just said progress after killing someone. <laughs> <laughs> That's just spooky. And here's the prayer bead I forgot. And we've got enough to make another prayer necklace. We've had enough, but you know. I wonder if this one is also weirdly appropriate. Uh, not quite. We did fight a lone shadow not too long ago. So I guess I'll take it. Anyway, back to the palace. Right where we left off. Let's cross the bridge. Okay. Or not. Jump? Looks like I'll have to go fishing. <laughs> Start sticking his tongue out into the water. Oh, well. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Come on. Bye. Oh, I'm drooling too much. I can't keep that joke up. There you are. Also, I just can't see Wolf talking with his tongue out like that. <laughs> like, it makes me kind of sad thinking about it. Now, there is an area up this cliff. You have to actually find a cave a few ways in in order to get up there, though. She's just standing there holding a ball. There's quite a few Okami around here that actually use kickballs to attack. Ooh. The one shooting lightning is one of them, technically. I kind of want to see that attack. You probably will. Yeah, I would like to see the Okami's bullying jock techniques. They're intimidating. They're not difficult. I love their movements, though. It is pretty cool. They're kind of like dance battlers. In fact, I think one of them is actually dancing in the middle there. Oh, no, she's practicing the kickball. That's dope! I, I was going to say, you could not have missed any worse than a curve. That's really cool. I don't know why I think that's so cool, but I do. Reminds me of Shaolin soccer. Yeah, it's probably more soccer than kickball. I mean, it's a ball you kick, so it could go either way. I wasn't thinking of a specific sport when I said kickball. They have a okay. ball and they kick it. Fair, fair enough. <laughs> it's not exactly soccer either. 
No. They're having fun. Leave her alone. Jacob, you don't understand. Wolf wants the ball. You don't understand. Progress. <laughs> <laughs> I need to practice my dribbles. <laughs> <laughs> Did that a few minutes ago. I was watching that. Look at that, they immediately get poisoned. First hit. Gee, I wonder if they won't see me. <laughs> I was trying to attract just one of them. I love how they couldn't see you while you were crouching there. We stood up and immediately, what the fuck? <laughs> A lot of this is going along the back path because the areas up front are over water, so you can't really jump between them. There might be some grapple points, but... Fight! If there's any Okami to really worry about, it's the one with spears. Um... <laughs> um... Run away! Oh, okay! <laughs> yeah, because remember, they do lightning. Yeah, they terrify me. Well, that's pretty sweet. I mean, I knew that part, but the fact that I just saw her running in a completely opposite direction, and I just thought, well, where's she going? <laughs> Fight's over here. I want to imagine the assigning of classes and weapons to this clan. It's like, you get a spear that can summon lightning. You get a fall. Also, remember, I have aerial death blow, so the ones that jump, you can just jump at and kill. Oh, that's sick. Can you do... I assume that includes ball ones? That That's what I'm referring to. Oh, yeah. I said the ones that jump. Yeah. I don't know. I, I didn't know if the animation counted as a jump for some reason. I like how due to the gravitas of the electricity move, like, it looked like there was just a Dragon Ball Z fight happening in the background. <laughs> kind of. Look, you've seen one Dragon Ball Z fight. You've seen them all. Yeah. 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 What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> you very like for one single frame, and there's a there it is again. You can actually see a, another mini boss in this area. At least his health bar. I missed I clearly missed that. I think he's right below us. He's right in front of a waterfall. She runs out like she's ready to fight, even though she doesn't see me. <laughs> Oh my, the fence. I'm okay. Is that in your head? <laughs> <laughs> the image of Wolf having a long arrow just sticking out of him and just, I'm okay. <laughs> Amazing. I just need to stab you and I'll feel better. <laughs> and there's another one doing Tai Chi. She's surrounded by a lot of other Okami, though. And there's also two archers up front here. Ah. God damn, damn it. It says a lot about the dumbassness of the enemies in this game where I really did not think she was going to see you. Honestly, I don't know why she did. So, to deal with these five enemies, I like to take them out one by one. Real easy way to do that is just hit one of them with a shuriken. The others won't notice, and the one you hit will just run after you. 
Fucking hell. You know, like, I, un I understand it. Uh, stealth is important to this game, but it's not like clearly the combat is more so. But sometimes, like, the AI is kind of very immersion breaking. A little bit. With how, with how dense they are. Yoshi, last time you missed a fight with another Lone Shadow, who you can actually draw outside of his aggro range, and his AI breaks, and he just slowly walks back into the arena. Yeah. <laughs> and you could just kill him that way. <laughs> now, I'm sure this time we're gonna have an honorable fight. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> now, interestingly, when you get close to her, she stops doing her dance, but she doesn't see you. She just stands at attention. So you can just walk up behind her. How strange. Oh, more sake. And you can also see that idol. We are right next to the Okami that shoots lightning. She's up on that tree branch. So every time you respawn, get fucking ready. Well, she's a mini boss, thankfully. So kill her once, she's gone forever. Oh, good. So let's go for her. And she only has one death blow. So remember aerial death blow? Yep, goodbye. Oh yeah! Uh oh. Well. <laughs> She's no different than the other Okami. So, I don't know why they made her a mini boss. Me either, what? <laughs> The, the water aspect made it seem like, oh, dude, you do not want to cross her because you'll literally die if you go there. And also, this Okami is much stronger than the others. But no, it's just a regular one. At the very least, now I can go into the lake all I want. Yay, splish splash. There's not really many enemies down in the water either. <laughs> well, except for giant koi fish, but... Oh, yeah, that one. Thankfully, he, aside from one specific area that he patrols, he's basically just a cutscene. I was going to ask if he was going to be a boss later on or something. He does his own thing. You don't really fight him. But th there's a lot that happens with the giant carp. You don't fight him, but you do annoy him. <laughs> That's how I feel about some of my coworkers at work. <laughs> There's a health bar popping up again. Oh, oh. that was a drop from an enemy. Ew, precious bait. We saw this a long time ago. It's just a handful of slugs. <laughs> <laughs> Precious slugs. They're adorable. I'm gonna call CJ a precious slug. <laughs> Knowing CJ, they'll love that. Oh yeah, CJ loves slugs. Hang on, let me, let me try something. Hey, honey. You're a precious slug. They gave me a face, it didn't work. <laughs> you didn't say what kind of face. Can I hang myself with this? Oh, okay. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so, so it works with CJ, does not work with Dakota. <laughs> it's like, things may have escalated a bit quickly there. <laughs> That's just how we are. Well, don't worry, next time we're going to use that precious bait. <laughs> You'll see what for. Well, I look forward to it. Tune in next time, y'all, when we slug it out. Five weeks, everybody. Five weeks.